There's a lot of talk about layer twos right now. Scaling Ethereum, tokens, airdrops, all of that stuff. Today, we're gonna be digging into yet another layer two. In particular, this is Metis. I am absolutely infatuated with these layer two blockchains because I think as the cryptocurrency market heats up, these are going to be the focus. These are going to be the opportunities. These are going to be the plays. I don't know, but that's where I'm placing my bets. My name is Vasco on the Vasco on YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna to teach you about Metis. We're gonna walk through how to get started, how to use it, and the pros and cons. So spoiler, Metis already has a token. And if you want the airdrop, well, we're a little late to the party. There are some ways to get some free Metis coins, but we're really gonna be exploring the blockchain here. This is a cryptocurrency that's ranked 239 out of all cryptos. A market cap of 150 million, 24 hour trading volume of $6 million, right? It's down 89% from its all time high over a year ago, where it traded at $323. If it returns to its all time high, we're basically 10 xing from here, but why would it and will it? So this is its own blockchain, but it's obviously also going to be traded on some centralized exchanges. Some of those notable exchanges that we've used frequently here on the channel, and obviously I just personally use, would be Qcoin, Coinbase, Gemini, among several other cryptocurrency exchanges, and of course, decentralized protocols. Metis is supposed to be powering dApps, decentralized applications, businesses, communities, decentralization, scaling Ethereum, all that nonsense, right? They've got the three A's here. Accessible, affordable, adaptable, a little alliteration. They have their own official bridge. So let's kind of get started with that and, and try to get in the game here. So I'm gonna to switch to the Ethereum mainnet and I'm going to take Ethereum. I'm gonna bridge point one Ethereum here. I've already connected with my MetaMask. Ah, so much better. It's always about the dark theme. And I'm gonna go ahead and approve this or try to. Oh, that's not going too well. We're on the Ethereum mainnet. Our wallet's connected. We're going to switch to Ethereum here. We're gonna put in 0 0.01 and it seemed to populate that time. We'll confirm this transaction and... Oh my God. And we're gonna pay $43 in gas. And tell you what, if I wasn't recording a video right now, I wouldn't do this. I would wait for a, a cheaper time to transact, but this isn't unprecedented by any means. This this is what crypto is like. It's just, this is ridiculous. There's another bridge we can use. Let's check out if that would be better. I'm personally growing really fond of Stargate. I've shown it in a lot of videos recently. So we're on Ethereum mainnet. Let's go ahead and take Ethereum and then we will go to Metis or we won't. Okay, let's let's try USDT goes a lot of places. We'll go to Metis here. Okay, so Let's just go ahead and obliterate like another $30 in gas. Uh, also as a heads up, there is an really likely incoming metamask airdrop we got an incoming video on that uh so just be aware be advised that that news is all uh heating up there uh and you look you look look at like how much ethereum is failing me they're full-blown proof of stake now and i'm, I'm still i just paid a hundred dollars in fees and no one would describe this as a cryptocurrency bull run no one would describe this as crazy retail just fervor and, and, and you know people going crazy it's just, I mean, this is just ridiculous. Uh, but when it comes to chasing that MetaMask airdrop, basically just make sure that you are doing the swap function. That's really the only thing we can speculate uh, will give us eligibility. So if we wanted to send 72 USDT over there, you know, really the goal was 100, right? We can use the default, we can use the max. You think, oh, it's only gonna be five bucks. No, this is just to do the token approval, to allow Stargate to interact with our USDT. So let's go ahead and, and approve that in the name of science. 
Now to send it, it's gonna be about 40 bucks. <laughs> what are we doing? You're watching me become poor in real time. That's that's what's happening. This is the how can I lose all my money with gas fees show. Uh, but I'm pretty excited about Stargate Finance STG token. Um, I mean, it's just a layer zero bridge that's working and has integration with Sushi Swap. And I personally, to be, you know, full disclosure, I bought a bag of uh, STG tokens. Uh, I don't have any affiliation with the team or anything. I just think it's something useful that's probably going somewhere. But anyway, I've spent like almost 10 minutes bridging and getting beat up by gas fees and talking about this. I'm starting to just feel ridiculous. Also burned up too much Ethereum in the process. So we've got our coins here on chain, right? So this is the block explorer uh, for Metis. And we can see that just a minute ago, some Ethereum came in. So although we were transacting with Ethereum, it came onto this chain as WETH or wrapped Ethereum. Ethereum traded on top of that Metis blockchain. Okay, so let's, let's take a step back and really talk about what is Metis. It's an Ethereum layer two optimistic rollup platform. Spring from a fork of optimism. This is another optimism fork. What else is an optimism fork? Well, Coinbase and the base protocol, and we were actually just talking about how to become eligible for the Coinbase token airdrop. Even though they said they're not bringing a token to market, don't forget that Arbitrum said that, and now it's about a top 30 cryptocurrency, which, uh, yeah, a little crazy, huh? So let's check this out. We look at layer two, Metis, it's an optimism. I mean, if you're familiar with uh, optimism, OP token, you know, this is a fork of it. It should be pretty similar, right? So low transaction costs, high speeds, rich functionality, whatever the hell that means. Usability, easy, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Affordable storage, native, and they're kissing us. Get off me. Scalability, doesn't exist on Ethereum. Apparently it's effective here. Layers of security, not a layer. And then DAO quick start. So basically there's a DAO, decentralized autonomous organization. So apparently it's more than just a scaling solution. They offer decentralized NFT data, storage, DAC creation, pull list, builder mining, and 100 million incentive in funding for their ecosystems. I can see how this blockchain would have been all the rage when NFTs were popping off, but NFTs have cooled massively since then. Uh, this isn't a blockchain I'm actually particularly really betting on, uh, or really all that interested in, but it is something I wanna explore and check out and just be familiar with. So if there ever is an opportunity that, you know, just I, I notice on this chain, that I'm ready to go. I've interacted with the chain, the protocol. I know what to do. I know how to get there. I know how to participate. Uh, I mean, th that may be a little conservative or a bit much for some people, uh, but that's just the way I operate. I, I wanna be on every single chain, but it really does start to bleed you thin because you've got ETH here, 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 here. It starts to kind of be a lot. I'm surprised at the adoption and some of the exchange listings that Metis has. I mean, here's an article from the Gemini Exchange who also have the token listed. They summarize it a little bit better. Layer two scaling solution to enable the Ethereum blockchain to handle more transactions with a focus on non-fungible token, NFTs. Uh, you, the features of Metis are basically an NFT bridge and storage solution, a framework for, de or for DAOs, decentralized autonomous companies, which is a DAC here. Uh, as opposed to a DAO, I should say. All of these solutions function atop Metis' own blockchain framework called Andromeda. Metis relies upon to leverage access to the Ethereum network. So that's the gist here. They have their Metis token, occupies several roles. It's an important part of layer two solution, bundles transactions. Rangers must stake, lock up Metis tokens to be eligible for, to validate transactions. If they act maliciously, their stake will be slashed or deducted as a penalty, much like Ethereum staking there. Uh, they can be used to pay for transaction fees, which is a good use case so, you know, for those tokens, creating some usability there. Stake the tokens for rewards. Operate as a builder mining program that offers member DAX Metis crypto rewards for each transaction that they complete on chain. By the way, I'm not going to cover this in today's video. If you need a full-blown start from the beginning, please watch our MetaMask guide on how to get started and get set up. MetaMask is a browser wallet. It's one of many options, but it's the most popular option. You need MetaMask set up to participate with this. Uh, you also need to buy 
Ethereum on some centralized exchange, most likely say like Coinbase, then withdraw it to your MetaMask wallet that you just set up to be able to actually interact with all these smart contracts on chain, all these protocols. Uh, so make sure to check that link out down below if you need that primer, that tutorial. I'm gonna skip past that so we can just jump into the meat of this video. Now let's check out this tiny ecosystem that had a massive TVL a while ago and has just not been doing all that great since then. A total value locked of 52 million. That, that just pales massively in comparison to some other chains. For example, we look at Arbitrum, which has just a blossoming ecosystem. Arbitrum's TVL, oh, you know just 2.31 billion dollars and 300,000 active users it's a lot very different in comparison here we look at one of the best protocols on this chain it would be stargate which is just a cross-chain bridge that is facilitating the bridge function here but is really more focused on other protocols but the fact that they have meta support is a great sign for the Metis ecosystem. The majority of the TVL is coming out of the Maja Dao ecosystem. So let's pull that up and let's pull up the Hummus Exchange, which would be the second one. Both of these are the only uh, protocols on this chain that have over $10 million of total value locked, which is basically how much money is you know in, in their protocol, how much you know value is locked up in it. Maya is a decentralized community-owned reserve currency. This is not something that personally interests me at this time, but you're welcome to check it out. We look at the Hummus Protocol, a single-sided automated market maker, right? Okay, interesting choice. Let's go ahead and launch the app here. I'll try to connect MetaMask and it's not connecting. So let's go and scroll down to switch the chain to Andromeda. Hit the refresh Aroni. Okay, looks like it is recognizing what we've got here. And so let's see how we can transact. And it's frozen. So this is a pretty poor user experience. And at this point, I, like, I'm just gonna go ahead and move on. It's, uh, this isn't working well for me. So let's go down the list and let's go to NetSwap. Decentralized exchange, runs on Metis. So let's go ahead and pop that open you can see that this is forked from a uniswap so we'll go ahead and we'll connect the wallet here and it's trying to open up the stupid brave wallet instead of recognizing my metamask refresh and it was able to populate that time all right so now let's go to let's go ahead and go to the swap here you can see the metas token i mean what about wrapped ethereum that's what we wasted all our money bridging so let's do a trade for three Metis coins. It's gonna cost us 0.05 Ethereum. We have to approve WETH because WETH is a token here. So we use the default, we use the max. Uh, this will give us a spending a cap of you know what we even have here. That was pretty fast. This wasn't Arbitrum fast, but it's fast. And it was cheaper than it is uh, interacting with Ethereum. So you can see our transaction fee is basically seven cents. A far cry from $40, but still more expensive from then say Arbitrum. I don't want to sound like so much of an Arbitrum fanboy, uh, but they are just leading the charge in this optimistic layer two Ethereum scaling roll up war. As far as I'm concerned, you know, when it comes to even just simply fast transactions and cheap transactions. So we completed a trade on chain. We've got some Metis tokens. Now we can look at other ways to deploy, right? So we check this out. We can see that we can go ahead and enter these farms. There's these APRs associated. I mean, this remember, if you enter a farm, you're putting your coins, your capital into these protocols. They could be exploited. Uh, this is the wild, wild west. So just make sure you understand what you're doing um, when it comes to this stuff. You could also just provide liquidity. And by providing liquidity, you also get an LP reward. You can see the APR breakdown right there, annual percent rate interest rates right but again you're exposed to that same risk we talked about that kind of stuff many times before uh so i'm not going to run through that in today's video but that's really the gist of it so i mean this this is the metis protocol this is what it looks like when you go to a cryptocurrency that is ranked 239 or now 240 
Uh, it's up 7% just in the last 24 hours. It's made some gains against Ethereum as well as Bitcoin. And if you bought it two weeks ago, you'd be up 41%. There are a lot of cryptocurrencies at the time we're recording this video that could have similar stories. But if it's pumping at all and not dumping, it makes you wonder, is there something going on here? Or is this a chain that has come and gone? Just this month, they dropped their new technical roadmap. You can see that they just tweeted a couple, you know, minutes ago. And, uh... And that's really all I got. It's not a project that I'm super enthused about, but I'm not counting them out either. I hope they succeed and do well. And, uh, you know, if they start to really get legs and start running, I'm poised to, you know, get involved with that. To be able to interact on chain. But... You know, there's not a lot of new money coming into cryptocurrency right now, but there is a lot of money moving around cryptocurrency right now. So that's all I got. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If for no other reason, please subscribe to the Viascoin YouTube channel because we have the CL2O, the Chief Layer 2 Officer here at Viascoin. That's going to be Tails Vos, the cutest pup in the world. Again, my name is Drew Vosk. I will see you in the next video, hopefully. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Metis down in the comments below. And basically, if it's thumbs up or down on Metis, hopefully it's at least thumbs up on the video. Thanks for watching.